What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today I'm bringing you straight into my salon. I'm going to show you guys how I cut my first time guest here, Lori's hair. Uh, challenges that she's having is her hair is heavy, it's dry, it's hard to style. So I'm going to show you guys the perfect cut for that. So let's get started. So sectioning is really simple. Right behind the ear, I take a line and then I go straight down the center back with a vertical parting. And then I build everything off of that using a slight diagonal forward parting, uh, really just mimicking the line that I want to create within the haircut. And I run the scissor parallel to that line. So I just keep continuing to work through, cutting everything at a one length until I get to the very top of this section. Now, once I get to the low crown area of the head, I start to put the hair in my fingers using finger uh, width elevation. And really, that's not going to change a whole lot. It'll just give me a little bit of a softer edge because as the hair starts to work around the round of the head and all the way down, it can get heavier and heavier. So that little bit of lift can help soften your line later in the cut. So now we're going to work the left hand side exactly the same way that we did the right hand side. All right, so now that we finished up the left-hand side, now we're gonna move into the side of the head right above the ear. I'm gonna use, again, slightly diagonal forward partings, really mimicking the jawline, and then that's how I'm gonna extend out the line uh, around the perimeter. So again, just continuing up the head shape. We're gonna do this on both sides uh, and working that line, just dropping it a little bit. Look at my finger angle compared to the jawline. It's really the same, running parallel. Uh, so that'll give me a little bit of extra length in the front of the cut. All right, so now that we finished the wet cut, we're gonna go in and blow dry. We're using Paul Mitchell Neuro Prime for a heat protectant, a nice base to our blow dry. And then I'm also using Paul Mitchell Neuro Lift uh, from mid shaft to ends to add a little bit of volume. And then once I get it blown dry, I add in Paul Mitchell Neuro Protect. That will help with all the iron work and keeping the hair nice and healthy. If you're gonna be ironing your hair and blow drying your hair, you gotta use products to help keep it healthy and help protect from the heat damage. Just like wearing sunscreen on your skin, you gotta do something for your hair as well. Well, you can see how thick Lori's hair is. So now I go through, this is part of the, the area where I said I was elevating in my fingers. So I go through and I detail that line just to get it nice and crisp uh, and really just see how that weight is playing out. Then I take off the surface layer and I section that up and away. And what I mean by surface layer, that's all the hair that's gonna fall in that one length and hit the bottom. I wanna mask that um, from the rest of the hair because then I can go in the underneath and use my texturizing scissor. Uh, this is the Mizutani Yuragi 6, one of my favorite texturizing scissors that we sell on Shop FSE. And I just work through um, not going anywhere near um, the base of the hair. So I I really just want to work below mid shaft to ends uh, just to soften them through. I even do a little bit of elevation and some point cutting using my texturizing scissor. Then I do some point cutting using my regular scissor. So we really go in and just keep playing with the density of the hair. You don't have to cut regular layers. I think what a mistake that we make with thick hair is we just pull it up and we start cutting layers into it and then you see those visible layers. This is a way that we can create invisible layers uh, in the underneath part of the cut. And also something that I talked to Lori about is if she wanted to pull her hair up, she totally can. We're not cutting short hair around the, uh, the outer perimeter, that nape area, and we're not cutting short in the very top. We're only cutting shorter pieces in the very uh, interior or the underneath part of the haircut. So uh, I just keep working through, taking those U-shaped sections throughout the top. I never touch that top layer. As I get towards the crown area, I start doing more point cutting and less slide cutting. And that really just kind of helps work through and remove that weight. You can see how it's starting to lighten up and you can see some of the layering that's happening or some of the uh, separation or just a little bit of that depth and movement in the texture of the haircut. But as soon as I pop that top layer over, it completely disappears. So the last little bit that we do on the sides, as I pull it down, you can already see how sleek and nice her hair looks. I do a little bit of slide cutting around the face 
that um, just adds again a little bit of separation a little depth to the haircut uh, separates those pieces on the bottom and now you can see how sleek and how nice it falls this is one of my favorite cuts to do one of my favorite techniques on thick hair hope you guys like it if you did please share this video with your friends hit that share button i would love that hit the like button if you liked it and make sure you subscribe because i got new videos coming out all of the time thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on the next video thanks